YouTube. I thought I'd just give a quick video on how I have my uh, 2016 Vibe Seago set up with the trolling motor mount. Uh, I'll just run it through you real quick. Um, first of all, I have the Harbor Freight 4x8 uh, trailer, folding trailer. And this thing has been absolutely awesome. We're going to be doing some more modifications to it, adding some drawers underneath uh, to hold our rods and tackle, life jackets, paddles, such that. And we'll do a video on that real soon when we get that going. So first off, I have the deck matting. It was a DIY. Ran me about $20 for the entire project. Um, you can check out the video with Kayak USA. He has a great walkthrough on how to do it, but we have some deck matting up here, um, down on the floorboards, which has helped with sound and uh, as well as just general grip. And then also back here. Um, definitely check out his video, Kayak USA. He has some absolutely great videos on DIY projects. Um, so the next thing we've added was the Lowrance Hook 7 and we have that going into a just a simple um, simple power unit um, that was around $15 on Amazon. It was a great little add-on and then from there we just open up our storage and there I have my leash. Uh, for dragging this beast and then I have my waterproof battery box and still goes down in the hall. So that has worked really well. So there's the fish finder. Now if anybody owns a Sea Ghost 130 or 110, out of everything on my kayak, my most favorite thing is my Mod Pod 2 that's available through H24 Outdoors. When they're in stock, they go super, super fast. But the ability, uh, before I had the standard one on there, and it made it so that I really didn't use it at all. But now it, it's so easy to get in and out of, um, to keep my stack, snacks, and uh, tackle. And then on top of that, I'm able to keep my cell phone and whatever else right in that storage compartment along with my pliers right on top which makes it really handy one thing that i really like about it is having this magnet spot for when i'm changing out my lures i don't have to worry about them getting away and uh, i would definitely check that out they run about 90 dollars, but they are absolutely worth it so under my seats i have my diy catfish uh quote jugs if my assistant can get them out. What are you doing, girl? Scott. No. No. Okay, you don't have... Normally, they just slide in and out, so... Um, I have about 20 feet of line on there. And not a few weeks ago, I actually... You don't have to lift it up. I actually caught a 20 pound blue cat uh, not too long ago on those so those have been really great of course i have the two pole holders on each side for when i want to do trolling or just switch in between my gear um, one of the things i really love about uh, the sea ghosts is the storage containers and of course i have lanyards and, and leashes on everything in my boat because um, i know eventually the day will come well when i flip it so uh, I'll keep my uh, lures on one side, my soft plastics on the other side. Um, I'll have my fish grips right here. Uh, I keep a glove right there on that side, just in case I get into something a little toothy. Now what most people are gonna be watching for is the trolling motor. Um, it's a Minn Kota Endura C230, uh, thrust um, some people use the larger motors but this one has been absolutely great for me puts me up about uh, four miles an hour top speed I, I never really do that I just go at one um, the, the first power setting
digging this trolling motor. Nothing yet, Nana. Okay. She's riding. So as you can see by those videos, um, I'm doing about 1.2 on the water. And Kinsey, go ahead and turn it. So, I mean, just sit back in the normal. So as, just like that, I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm cruising around. I usually use it mainly just to get to my destinations and then I'll have my paddle on the side and I'll, I'll paddle from there. But that has made a world of difference covering water. Now, as far as mounting it goes, um, there was a little PVC mount that kind of popped into my head at 2 o'clock in the morning. I added my four pole holders, which was, I didn't like the fact that um, the rods were so high up beforehand. And now they are very low profile. I can get under trees without issues. And when I have my poles up front in the pole holders, I can still easily reach my cooler or anything else I have back there. Um, I'm a big guy. I don't see sitting or standing up in my kayak anytime soon. So something that I did was added a little shelf over here as well. Uh, one, it kind of counterbalances the motor weight on the other side. Thought I'd get her that time. But gives me access to my bag right there. So that is the whole setup, really. If you guys have any questions or um, comments, please add them in the description below. I'm going to add the channel links. Why do you keep hiding? And then my wife's hiding over there. <laughs> Guys, like, share, and subscribe, and please add your comments, and we'll see y'all later.